Here's a simple animation of a splash screen, something that happens once, usually a power on, and then transitions to the normal project. The PLC increments a tag, in this case the index tag, the Seymour Micro watches that tag and displays the corresponding image. Now we don't have a PLC here, so I've set up F1 to increment that tag for us. So I'm going to hold down the F1 button, it walks through the animation, and then the PLC when it's done incrementing the tag would then set the screen number to the screen it wants to start the project on. So let's see how to set up that splash screen. Step 1. We create a new screen for the splash screen animation. We do that here under the Navigation Windows Screen menu, clicking on the New Screen button. We've already done that here, so Screen 8 is going to be our splash screen animation. Step 2. We need to tell the Seymour Micro to use this as the first screen after Power On. To do that, go to the Setup menu, Panel Manager, and say we want to start this project on Screen 8, our animation screen. Step 3. We drop a multi-state bitmap object onto the screen and fill in the animation images. There are several videos showing you how to use the multi-state bitmap object to create animations. We're not going to go into details here. Just note that this multi-state bitmap object is using the value of that tag as an image number to tell it which of these images to display. Since the PLC is simply incrementing that tag, it's going to start at zero and sequence through this list. So if we start at zero and sequence through that list, we can see a little preview of the animation. And you can also see it on the screen. Step 4. Set up the Seymour Micro to watch the PLC for screen changes. To do that, we go to our Setup menu, PLC to Panel, the PLC to Panel tab, and we tell the Seymour Micro to watch this tag on the PLC for screen number changes. We enable that feature, and we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and kick off the simulator so we can watch this from the beginning. Sure enough, the Seymour Micro starts on screen 8. We can see that over here. Once that happens, the PLC would start incrementing this index, which we're going to do with F1. When it's done incrementing the index, it changes the screen number to the start screen of the project. That's all there is to setting up a splash screen for your project. Please be aware that these kinds of things are a huge resource hog and take a lot of time. But if you have some extra time and you're feeling creative, this is a fun thing to play with. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.